Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So, I hope you're all doing well. Now the title of my video was probably a bit shocking for you guys. Um, I do plan on explaining what I mean by that, how I let my husband control me. First, I just wanna say that just a bit of a, a little bit of an update with how I'm doing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I suffer from binge eating disorder and food addiction and I have been this way for as long as I can remember in my life. You know, I, even as a kid, I was always obsessed with food. I would, you know, use food for comfort. That developed into using food for comfort. And I just, food has just always been the main focus center of my life. I uh, have a lot of food noise in my head. It's just always food, 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 food. You know, what am I gonna eat next? Just always thinking about food, obsessing about food. But so far, I'm on a winning streak, just doing well, you know. Doing well? We just saw you eat 5,000 to 6,000 calorie meals every day in Thailand. As soon as you got back to QH, you shopped enough food for 15 people. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm actually really happy with the little accomplishments I've been making. I haven't uh, binged in a while now. And well, a while for me is like probably a few days, like since Thailand anyways, um, since being back home. In Thailand, I ordered a lot and I did have some, there were some times where, you know, I would be alone and, um, just watching a movie or whatever in the hotel and I would order out again on top of having had supper and stuff like that And then I would order snacks or go to the 7-eleven and have snacks and I realized, you know left to my own devices <laughs> being Private in private. I, I was able to just do what I whatever I wanted to and was also able to hide hide things from my husband you know who's concerned about my health and my eating disorder this is this is new for him he's a he's a you know a a, a person uh, who doesn't have issues with food at all um they eat to live and they don't think about food after you know they're they've eaten they're good they don't think about their next meal after that and uh, you know i've i've been surrounded by normies <laughs> my whole life so um you know and when it comes to food that's what i mean by normie and so this is like a whole new thing for him you know i did mention when we met because i feel it's important to be with transparent with somebody especially if you're planning on marrying them as a life partner uh you know husband and wife that's you're a unit you're a family unit you're a couple you go through life together oh my god will you get on with this word salad we've heard this all before my guess is the title and thumbnail were complete clickbait and my husband controlled mean means he dictated what she got to eat for a day or something the ups and downs and i felt it was important for him to really know what my downs were I, you know i don't think at the time he really really understood the full extent of it until he lived with me when he would be in sleeping and then the next day there would just be like some evidence of binges happening he's actually really supportive uh in a lot of ways so um i let him control certain things now um in my life <laughs> But there's a difference between like a more like a narcissistic control, a control um, of asserting power over someone versus having your back. Something tells me this wasn't her initiative. Did he finally have the balls to put his foot down? Not that it'll matter. This new lifestyle is not gonna last. What I'm talking about when I mean control is I'm letting him control things that I have no control over so yes i let him control me with with eating now ordering out so i'm letting him help me with that so his idea of helping you was to buy kilos and kilos of cheese and pickles i call bs um well, what i mean by that specifically is i've decided to show him everything i eat everything i put in my mouth you know like showing him what i eat uh, throughout the day anytime we eat out it'll be together usually anyways but there's no more of me just like 
turning to him and saying, hey, I'm going to order a 12 inch sub with some cookies and some chips, or I'm going to order Burger King because I want a chicken royal meal. You know, there's no more of that. So far, so good. Honestly, I, I'm not even like craving junk food right now not fast food because i i got really bad food poisoning in thailand at least i think that's what it was after eating some pretty disgusting junk it was like really nasty yeah i i was eating like a whole bunch of cheese popcorn i was eating like this place called potato corner like fried chicken skins and just like really fatty like food that's not like food products i don't consider that like nutritious food when i think of certain foods this particularly fried fatty non-nutritious food i feel ill didn't stop you from getting all that cheese and full fat yogurt, did it? You know, I, I'm very thankful for that right now because I don't know if I had that feeling, if I would be so strong, if I would have that willpower. Um, we did a healthier grocery order, you know. Yeah, so I just basically, when I mean like controlling, I mean more like being really accountable to him. Yeah, I'm basically just holding myself more accountable than before, before I had the mentality that I don't, you know, really need to be accountable to anyone but myself. But um, I think I need to surrender that idea for now that that I can be, that I can control, uh, that I'm in control because I'm not. Yeah, I mean, you know, being 40 and having diabetes, type 2 diabetes, you know, being with someone so unhealthy who can't do anything. And, and I don't want to be that way anymore either. I want to live life and I want to do a lot in life. So, uh, I mean, Salah's not an almond husband, which for those of you who don't know, an almond husband is basically a husband, a partner who is very conscious around food, like very health conscious around food and stuff like that. I think anyways, <laughs> I've heard that, I heard that term recently and I was like, yeah, he's not, but he prefers, like he does have a sweet tooth. So he will, he likes in, to eat sweets, but he doesn't overindulge. Like he'll have like a chocolate and then that'll be it. You know, he won't have like three, four, five chocolate bars, two, three, four, five. He'll just have like one and he'll, eat his meals and that'll be it. And sometimes he only eats like once a day. You know, if I make him a really big healthy breakfast in the morning, that's all he'll really eat and then he'll have maybe a chocolate bar at night. That's what you think anyway. He's having dinner with his real family. But he'll also, he prefers like real home cooked food over ordering out any day and he prefers to eat healthy. So that's good because if I was with a partner who was just like me, we would be, or somebody who encouraged me to eat unhealthy or somebody who was like, you know, I don't mind that you, that you eat that. You're perfect the way you are, babe. I love you the way you are that's not okay because that's very dangerous and uh, at that point that's where you know enabler status comes in uh, you know it's not his responsibility for me for you know I'm responsible for what I put in my mouth at the end of the day so it's you know but um, I will give him the go-ahead to to hold me accountable basically I give him that control in that way I give him go in the you know in the driver's seat in that sense Salah said something to me before that was just really like made me rethink everything about accepting yeah, your partner accepting you for how you are and he said you know I'm your husband I'm your family now like if I if I love you truly love you I would I'm worried about your health like if I if I didn't love you I wouldn't care it hurts him to see me in pain uh, with the sciatica and everything else and then just also like <laughs> not being able to breathe from walking or just this and that so you know before I didn't really want to hear it and I would actually be defensive with him about it and kind of just like anyone else like I want to I, I got this I just want to handle it on my own I just want to you know I, I don't want you to criticize me for what I'm eating I don't want to hear it like I just want to eat in peace like just leave me alone just let me indulge on my Burger King and don't have any opinion on it so that's that's about it that's all I wanted to say uh, just so you guys know the dynamic we have when it comes to that. Other than that, I'll have some health updates in the future, some weigh-ins and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, thank you for listening, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!